Okay, yeah, Gerald's ready to go. Let's, let's take a look at this setup. All right, so this is a setup this morning on crude oil that I was talking about before it happened. Um, we were right here on market profile. We were coming up. Let me show you a big arrow. We're right there when I talked about a trade setup. Let me show you what uh, my thought process was on that, and you can see why I was looking for a short right at that level. So let me just blow this up to a big arrow so you can see it. Okay, so we were right here at this level. We're right here at the 79 level. Uh, actually, we're right here at 70, 74 to 79 level when I was talking on the mic this morning. I was looking for the market to come up, test this level, and just go to a retracement to the downside. Now, why did I want to look for that setup? Well, market profile, we know if we are in a downtrend, we look for a break retest of those profile levels. So let's take a look at our trend chart, how you can set this up, though. So at the time of this level right here, when we were at the 74 to 79 level, is oscillating back and forth, um, we were actually going into retracement. So if you look over here on the retracement chart, I added a uh, retracement indicator on the bottom that's going to be in the algorithm that we're getting out to you guys um, where it can print the arrows for you. Um, if you look at this, we were coming up. So we were actually coming up right there. We had a green bar that printed right here. And I said, look for a retracement. And look for a full retracement on this into the low value area. The trend chart's really nice because the trend chart will really spot these setups for you. Because what happens is, is I like to stay on the side of this. This is a long, longer time frame. It's a nine sim Rinko. You can see it's a nine sim Rinko. My Rinko bar has a trend filter built in. So it really works good, great in all markets because it, it has a trend filter built into the Rinko bars. So it's not a standard Rinko bar. So I have a smaller MA up here. And some of the great retracement trades that I talked about, I talked about this morning before this trade happened, I said, look for a full retracement coming up into that bar. So as we came up, I said, look for it to stay on the side of the ADMA. Those are the best ones. You can see it got a full retracement. It got above 90%. That means I'm at a full retracement and I'm in a downtrend. Vice versa, if you look at this trade setup over here on the buy setup that happened this morning, I'm in an uptrend. My smaller MA is above my larger MA. Remember, moving averages are, are worthless by nature, but they're great for trend direction. So I am in an uptrend. I'm going to look for a full retracement. It got a full retracement at this level. And this is where we had a buy setup. So if you look at the whole entire session on crude oil, if you just trade off this technique that I'm showing you, it actually picked up two of the best waves using this technique on a full retracement. And that right there is a full retracement because it got above my 90% on my large time frame. This is a nice little buy setup. It got below 10% on my large time frame with overall trend retracement. So we can take it to another level then. So that's my large time frame. That was a sell right here. Before it happened, it was right it was oscillating down here right around 50%. I'm sorry, it was right around 60% right there. So I said, Watch for it to get into a full retracement, which it did. Stay on the side of the eight. You're good to go. Yesterday was no different. If you look at yesterday's trading, we had these nice retracement levels. And this is how you want to look at this. If I look at all the trades in a row it produced at a full retracement, you're, it's pretty impressive, the results. If I, if I come down here and I look at when this fully retraces, make this big so we can see. This is a trend chart, stay on the side of the MA, the side of the smaller 8MA. If I look at this full retracement here, that was a sell setup right there. I'm on the side of the 8, I'm in a downtrend, that's a trend setup. If I look at this retracement here, that's a full retracement. That's a sell setup, full retracement here. If I look at when the markets cross back up, I want to get a full retracement. Do I get a full retracement? Right there it is. That's your nice trend setup. Now I get back on the side of the eight again. I start rolling back over. Do I get a full retracement? There it is. There's your nice swing down. All right, then the market turns back up. Do I get a full retracement? 
closes back inside. Yes, I did. Touch right on it. So you can see yesterday the swings, you had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trades in a row using that technique. And if I look at today's technique, it worked great again today. I got a full retracement on my large time frame, staying above my smaller MA, and then we get the push up. Actually, this full retracement up here that it caught, this actually caught the corrective wave. I got back inside a high value area at that level. And you could actually short that to the downside up here too if you wanted for a corrective wave when it got back inside the smaller MA. So this indicator, I'm putting in the algo that we're getting to you. Um, you can use that for the automated arrows that fire for your own markets that you trade. It's a really good technique. But what you can do, so we knew market profile was resistance before it hit. I came into a full retracement before we got into the 90 level. I said 90 would be the resistance. And then it came up on what? It came up on my 5 SIM. If I look at my 5 SIM on the full retracement, right there it is. I'm at a full retracement here, full retracement in my symmetry dots, and that's exactly where I got a full retracement on my 9 SIM. Also, we had a trade setup that came over here for a momentum setup. I came into a full retracement with trend down and negative market delta. This is another cell setup right there. So you can use it on the smaller time frames also. The smaller time frames work in conjunction with the larger time frame over here. So it's a very productive way to do it. Now, you want to use market delta, obviously. Market delta caught the high, negative market delta. So when I got into the full retracement on the larger time frame or the smaller time frame, use market delta to fire in the trade. If you use a four sim Rinko, your average stop is going to be right around 11 ticks. That's $110 potential loss per one contract. But look at the move you got. You got a move that was all the way down from 79 short. We got as low as almost 20. So you're talking about a really nice little setup, a 6 to 1 almost reward to risk off of that trade setup based upon the full retracement indicator. And that's what you want to do. Uh, you want to use this large time frame to look for full retracements. The best way to do it, like I said, I'll show you the guts of this algo next Thursday in the conference call I'll show you how you can set your indicator of the smaller MA with overall trend direction it will only show trend trades at a full retracement with momentum on your side and um, so if you want arrows to fire off automatically for your trade setups I'm going to show you how to do that and then you're able to back test that all the way back a whole year to see the results on any time frame. And we'll be going over that next Thursday um, so you can see the results. But it's pretty, it's pretty neat how these charts work together when looking at this uh, retracement level with overall trend direction and then adding market profile and just helps you out even more. And it doesn't matter what markets you use. Um, the, the markets are, um, I mean, the retracement levels are the same for all, uh, uh, I mean, the technique is the same for all markets. It doesn't matter if the market's flat. If I look at gold, if I bring gold over today and I look at the large time frame, it's very simple to see the trade setups. I'm in a doubt, I've been in a downtrend. Here's a real large, big setup for the day. That came into a full retracement. The negative market delta actually came right, right at that high. Look at that push you got. And then we came up here, full retracement, and this actually caught the high on the five sim at this level. And then it just caught this high just recently um, at that level. We've been in a downtrend. Um, so you can see it's sort of flattening out now, but it's still caught these highs. And it doesn't matter what market you trade. We've been in a downtrend since midnight on gold also. So that's how we want to do it. Uh, we want to use those charts uh, to really help us out on knowing when we have a potential retracement by ourselves.